please welcome an original board member of the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame from Chattanooga, David Carroll. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's an honor to be here to recognize Larry Ward. First off, I just want to tell you, Paul Tinkle, I have voted for you for this award so many times over the years. Rudy Giuliani is opening an investigation into this. So I'm proud of you too. That is awesome. I insisted they introduce me as an original member of the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame Board for this reason. Back in 2010, a group of people started this organization, some wonderful people. Oh my goodness, uh, you know, Dave and Paul and Kathy and Lee and John Young and Ralph Vaughn and some folks who are no longer with us, Skip and Ralph Emery, and, I, and there's so many others. And I remember at one of the first meetings of this new idea, this new board, we were talking about getting some corporate help in keeping this organization going. And I remember one of the board members reported that they had gone to one of the heavy hitters in the music community and was told, well, I don't know if we should support that group. You think they'll even be around in three or four years? Here we are, folks. Give yourselves a hand. It's going strong. That means a lot to me to be able to say that uh, this organization is going strong, and thanks to the work of Pamela and the other volunteers, it's going to be around for a long time. Three words can describe the broadcasting career of Larry Ward. Longevity, reliability, excellence. Longevity speaks for itself. As you saw in the video, Larry has been calling baseball games and other sporting events since 1970. In baseball terms, that is several generations of Aloo's, Griffey's, and Biggio's. The tradition just keeps going and Larry is still behind the mic. Reliability. Larry has been the voice of the Chattanooga Lookouts for 34 years, and when our new stadium opens in 2025, I'm counting on Larry Ward to be in the booth. That will be his third stadium as a Chattanooga Lookouts announcer. Larry does not miss any games. The Lookouts are playing right now. Stand by. I hope you got the score. 5-5 five, five with Birmingham, bottom of the sixth. <laughs> There are people in Chattanooga right now who pulled over to the side of the road thinking something is wrong with their radio because Larry is not at the game. He'll be there tomorrow, and when he does, it will be game number 5,324. Pretty good run, Larry Ward. Pretty good run. And the third word, excellence. Larry is a student of the game. He explains the strategy on the field so well, even I can understand it. He paints a picture for his listeners. It's, it's more than play-by-play, play, it's, a, it's a conversation. And he describes not just every game, but every pitch. Here's an example. Once a year, Larry is kind enough to let me visit with him in the booth for an inning or so. And we'll carry on a conversation for a few innings. But the game, the game comes first. When we announced Larry's induction, his election into the Hall of Fame back in April, I went on the air with him that night. I said, this is during the game. I said, Larry, congratulations. This is quite an honor. Larry said, thanks, David. I appreciate you saying that. Blow it outside to Smith, ball one. <laughs> I said, Larry, just think. Just think of the others who've been inducted into this wonderful hall. I mean, people like Ralph Emery, Luther Massengill, Lindsey Nelson, he said, true legends, each and every one. Ooh, fastball catches the inside corner, one and one. <laughs> then I looked up in the sky. I said, oh, oh my gosh, would you look at that, Larry? There, there's a meteor hurling toward downtown Chattanooga. I've never seen anything like this. He said, yes, sir, that is a blazing ball of fire headed right into the heart of our city. This could change civilization as we know it. Ooh, that's high and tight, almost hit it. As high as goes down, two and one, Smith on that. And we went on from there. To Larry's grandson, that may not have happened exactly that way. But with Larry, that conversation, that personal connection is what keeps him going. He serves as our eyes and ears. Every listener knows Larry as a friend. Same goes for his work with the UC Chattanooga women's basketball team at a mere 33 years and counting. When Larry sits behind the mic, we know we can count on him to be our friend at the game when we're not able to be present. And he describes each of those games in colorful details.
fulfill as only he can. Just this week, we lost a broadcaster named Ben Scully. I hear a lot of Ben Scully and Larry Ward. He's our Ben Scully, and that's the ultimate compliment right there. That's why his name will be enshrined forever where it belongs in the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame, Larry Ward. I don't know if this will go as smoothly as Paul's, but here we go. See, I'm not the only one that uh, does the crying thing when you're told that this is going to happen. Uh, and when uh, it did happen, uh, it was a little blubbery there for a while. It was a lot of blubbery there for a while. But when reality hits and you have an opportunity to, uh, oh, wait a minute, what is this? It's a battery. Oh, I know why I have this. I got all charged up over being here to start with, and I forgot to put the battery away. Uh, but uh, Henny Youngman, I'm not, okay? Excuse me. I battled sinus problems. And as people film this, they're going to go, what's wrong with that guy in his, his nasal passage anyway? My father was a rancher, hard worker. Um, in World War II in the Navy. And I was born shortly after they got back. Uh, he and my mother married. Uh